To design products that are useful and enjoyable, we need to understand exactly what real users need from our products, what motivates them, what attitudes they bring to the table, what questions they have, and the list goes on. In this video, I'll teach you what user personas are and how they help us design effective products for our customers. A persona is a single representation of a subset of your target audience who have similar behaviors, goals, motivations, and needs as it relates to your product or service. We create personas by conducting research with real people that represent our target customer audience. Then we analyze this information to find segments or subgroups of this customer audience who have many things in common as it relates to your product or service. After we find these subgroups, we create one single personified representation of the people that fall within that subgroup. Let's discuss two reasons why personas are so useful in user-centered design. Number one, personas create a shared understanding. Many stakeholders and team members may feel they already know a lot about users and what they need. And in some respects, we do already know a lot about our users. We've interacted with them in the past or learned about them in prior research. The problem remains, each team member's understanding about these users is often different. To fix this, we need to replace our existing ideas about users with specific representations that everyone on our team can agree upon and align around. So we have to come together to share, compare, and organize what we know about customers. Conducting and analyzing user research together allows us to validate and invalidate each other's understanding of users. So ultimately, we can move forward with the same information and understanding. Having the same understanding will enable us to make confident design decisions on behalf of the user segments we identify. Number two, personas help us remember and apply what we know about users. User research data can exist in a lot of formats from analytics reports to survey data. These research outputs are great, but insights and metrics delivered in fragments across various presentations and reports make it hard to remember what we know and difficult to get a clear sense of the cumulative insights. Creating personas to represent everything we know about customers helps us to solve this problem. The persona format helps to communicate information about people in a way no other artifact really can. They humanize complex data, which makes it easier for us to consume and more importantly, easier to remember. As humans, we naturally relate to and empathize with other people. Beyond this, as humans, we can easily internalize and remember information in the form of stories. So creating personas to represent your insights about customer segments helps to build rich customer understanding into our minds so that we're always applying it, always referencing it. This way, Every little micro decision we make during the design and development process is informed by data. Ultimately, personas will propel you and your team toward more aligned, user centered decisions every step of the way. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more of our UX videos, take a look at these over here and consider subscribing to our channel. On our website, nngroup.com, you can access our free library of over 2,000 articles. You can also register for one of our UX courses that offer live hands-on UX training.